What's up guys, JC here, and this video is actually my very first official video for the iNav playlist. In this one I will cover what GPS modules I recommend, the next video will be what flight controllers I recommend, and then the next video I will actually show you how to set these up in iNav. If you don't know, iNav is basically the same thing as, uh, you know, we've had base flight, then clean flight, beta flight, race flight, and now we have iNav. iNav is more geared towards GPS builds, where beta flight and race flight is more towards performance, and clean flight is kind of all around. Base flight is completely outdated. Don't even think about using base flight. So, uh, the two GPS modules I've been using for the longest are, well, the Hollybro brand, but there's actually many different modules, and this is really what I want to. Uh, touch on. Now not only is this what I recommend, but I just happen to be going through the iNav uh, setup pages and come to find out this is what they recommend as well. So I feel very confident in recommending either one of these to you because now you know I recommend it and iNav recommends it. Now if you click on this link here, it will take you to banggood.com and this doesn't look exactly like the one I have on the table, but uh, I would assume that they have tested it and it works just fine, not to mention it does have 5 out of 5 stars, and it's $19. Uh, now I'm sure if you search on Banggood for the smaller module, then you can find it as well. And now the ones I am personally using, I got from GetFPV.com. You can get them from many other websites, I just use GetFPV because uh, they're pretty close to me and shipping isn't that bad. But here they both are here. They are called the Hollybro U-Blocks Neo M8N GPS module. And it is important that you search for M8N because that's the different uh, different modules that I'm talking about. This is their newest, latest and greatest. Now there are uh, others. For example, you have the 6M, the 6H, uh, I've been looking on a few websites. I can't find the older ones, which is good for you because you don't want any of the older ones. Like I said, just make sure it is the M8N. Now, uh, you can get some of these, which are even smaller, but uh, I don't really recommend them. Uh, you, you can still do it. It's basically the same thing, just without this plastic case. But it's up to you. You can get whichever one you want. I'm just saying I, I haven't tested any of these. This is on readytoflyquads.com. I have not tested these. This one right here, I can tell you works great, for sure. Okay, so we figured out that we want the M8N GPS module. Now, which specific one do you want is going to completely depend on your build. If you have a large hexacopter or oxycopter, something like this big old beast right here. Thing's so big it knocked my mic over. If you have something like that, you might want to get this one right here because it comes with uh, this little rod, and you stick this rod into the back side of it, and then it comes with a base plate, you stick that into there, and it even comes with all the screws and hardware that you need to mount this. And you will mount this to the top of your really large multi-rotor, and what this does is it keeps it far away from all of the electrical in interferences and stuff like that. Uh, your Power wires with those high voltages can affect the magnetometer, so you want this to be as far away from it as possible. Now if you have a small multi-rotor, then you could get the mini version. With this, there's nothing that mounts to it or anything, you just put some double-sided tape on it and stick it right onto your frame, and there you go. Uh, now of course when you mount this, you want to find a good location for it, preferably away, as far away from all the power lines and all of that. Uh, to get the best performance from it. Now both of these have, uh, well as far as wiring them, like I said that's going to be two videos from now. I'll show you how to wire these and then the next video will be how to set it up. But both of these are going to have six wires. You got a power, a ground, a TX or transmit that goes to a receive on a UART, then you have a receive that goes to a transmit on a UART, and then you have your SEL and SDA. Same thing for this one, except this one comes with this little six pin connector and it also has the same, it's a JST six pin 1.00 millimeter spacing and 
it has the same connector on the other side I just cut it off so that way I could just direct solder it to my flight controller uh, the only other thing you need to know is this one requires 3.3 volts and this one will run off of 5 volts but don't worry all flight controllers have 3.3 volts and I will talk more about that in the wiring video that's going to do it for this one guys now you know what GPS modules I'll be using throughout the iNav playlist and uh, make sure you get the M8N so that's it I will see you in the next video where I talk about what flight controllers I recommend and then we can move on from there Thanks for watching. I'll see you there.